I just picked up a brand new Makita SP6000J track saw. What the heck's a track saw and why do I need one? A track saw is basically just a really good circular saw, except when I use this track saw, I make gold records. In addition, it also has an aluminum guide and has a plunge feature. This allows for super clean and accurate cuts. Trying to cut a large sheet of plywood on a table saw is extremely dangerous. This is why a track saw is perfect for breaking down plywood in addition to things like putting a nice straight cut on a live edge slab. But enough talk, let's get this thing out of the box. In the box, you get the saw with a 48 tooth carbide tip blade, an onboard blade wrench, and a nice hard case. In the box with a guide rail, all you get is one 55 inch aluminum guide rail. But I also picked up an additional 55 inch guide rail and a connector kit, so I can make straight cuts up to 110 inches. The saw weighs a very light 9.7 pounds and it has a 6.5 inch blade. It has variable speed from 2000 to 5200 RPM. It has a max cut depth of 2 and 3 16 inches at 90 degrees, but I'd like to point out that that's without the track. The saw can cut up to a 48 degree bevel. The saw also has a soft start feature. It has an easy to set and read depth scale. Unfortunately, it's a metric and my tape measure is imperial. The saw has a scoring cut feature for when you need to make an extra clean cut. The accessory guide rails are made of aluminum and they supposedly work with other brands like Festool. In addition to that, they also have this super grippy material on the bottom. In fact, the rubber material on these tracks is so grippy there's almost no need to even clamp them down. But if you want to, you can use these track clamps. I put a link to these in the video description. As I mentioned before, I also purchased an additional guide rail and a connector kit. It's very simple to connect the rails together and you can achieve a very long straight guide rail. These guide rails are available from Makita in several different lengths. I put a link to the 55 inch guide rail in the connector kit in the video description. This saw has a one and a half inch OD dust port. I'm going to be using my DeWalt dust extractor with this saw, so I just need to buy an adapter. With this setup, dust collection is fantastic and it collects most of the dust. Now that I got a chance to test this thing out and unbox it, I'm not a huge fan of this metric depth scale or the way that this plug fits in my dust extractor. It's a little bit loose, but I am a huge fan of the sticky strips on the bottom of the guide rail. So overall, I absolutely love the saw and I can't wait to use it more. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and leave me a comment and subscribe. You can also go ahead and check out one of these other awesome videos over here. We'll see you guys.